Hello traders, so the title of the video is uh, how to avoid Fibonacci extension uh, trading mistakes like a pro. Have you been using the Fibonacci extension? Was it successful to you or have you been making Fibonacci extension trading mistake? Do you want to improve your Fibonacci extension trading uh, like a pro? In this tutorial, I want to share with you how to avoid Fibonacci extension trading mistakes like a pro. All right. So I do not want to remove uh, okay the lines on my chart. So you may say to me, Joe, why do you have too many lines on your chart? All right, because uh, all right, I need those lines, okay, because I draw them. It's my chart, first thing, it's my chart, <laughs> all right. So I want to keep them there, or I want to see them, I want to know where those lines are. You can see that I have a, also my pitchfork tool here, which I don't want to remove, all right. So my apologies to trader if you think that, Joe, you are a bit messy here, and you are not uh, removing all your lines. I need them on my chart, okay. So the price action that we are looking for, we are looking at, is this one here. You can see that the price okay, went up one, two, three. Now, traders that are following us know that this is uh, the minimum price move. We draw a line there and we say priority to bullish signal above and priority to bear signal below. So price went up from here, one, two, three. All right, we are here. So let's put change the color of this one into orange so you can see it on your chart. Okay. So price went up from uh, point A to point B, and then it pulled back. Okay, it pulled back. All right. So I, I can tell you now this is 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement level. I have done it before, so I don't want to do it again to avoid that the video is too long. So this is 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement level. I'm, I draw it. You can see uh, to the low of uh, the month of March 2009. Uh, all the way up to uh, the high of May 2011. The financial instrument that we are analyzing is the Travelers Companies Incorporation, EPIC TRV, Tango Romeo Victor. All right. So, price went up from A to B and then pulled back to the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, which is the pink line here. All right. Now we want to apply Fibonacci extension to set a profit target. That's how we do it. Okay, so we apply for Fibonacci retracement, and then if it's 61.8% level, we will apply Fibonacci extensions to set a profit target. So if the price pull back to 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, generally, all right, <laughs> generally, some trader may say it will go up to 127% Fibonacci extension level. Other trader may say it will go up to 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. So, a lot of traders will be expecting profit taking in the zone of 138.2% uh, Fibonacci extension level as the price break above uh, this high here. So, their first profit target is this one here, the pink line here. If you look carefully, there was a, you see, price went up there, you see the shadow. There were some people who took profit here, I'm on the monthly chart. And also the following month, price went down. So there were profit taken in this zone uh, right here at 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. But the price is not having none of it. <laughs> All right, as we say here in London, it's not having none of it. Why? Okay, you can see that uh, we have also, if if you were using also the pitchfork tool, you can see at the point where people were selling was a not a good place to sell. Okay, not a very good place. Those who try to sell on the edge of the pitchfork tool have a better reason to sell there. So you see the price pierced through that one three eight point two percent level. Though we have a bit of profit taking on the edge here, price found a support near the median line of the pitchfork tool. So they were selling into the median line of that pitchfork tool and try quickly find a support and went back up okay now you can see that again sometimes trader trader use the fibonacci extension to set profit target they also use fibonacci extension okay to look for trading setup so in this case there will be sellers waiting at 138.2 percent level try to sell some of them will be waiting at 161.8% Fibonacci extension level to sell. 
So those are the trader here. This is one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level. You can see that as the prior reaches that level, there were again sellers there. We cannot ignore those sellers because we need to go into their mind and know that there will be some sellers there. Price continue to go out, reaches the two hundred percent level. Again, people try to sell it here. But if you look carefully on the chart here, you can see that. Um, those who sold it first time at 161.8% level, price went down a few months, only to finally support above the 138.2% level, which is the pink line here. So it breaks above the 138.2% level, went to 161.8% level. People did sell it there. It pulled back to retest the 138.2% level. As it started going up a bit, it came very a bit near the 200% level. There were other sellers. What was happening here is that those who sold it at one six one point eight percent level, some of them still try to sell it here because they understood that they will be taken out of their trade very soon. So they have to defend their position by trying to sell it one more time. And other traders also joined them. They sold it here. This is the move here. So they managed to push it back down again one more time. Price rally up again exactly to two hundred percent level. Again, there was seller here. Price went up to. 261.8% level, people try to sell it here. The price is not having none of it. Now, again, we are now at 314% level. This uh, monthly candlestick bar is now closed. It's the month of June. Today is the 1st of July, 2017, 1st of July. Okay, so this candlestick bar is now closed. So people did try to sell it as it's approaching the 314% level. All right, that's why we have the shadow here. So as you can see, those who were trying to use the, T, uh, the, 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 the Fibonacci extension to, to identify trading setup are very straight. They are trying to sell each time the price reaches a key a Fibonacci extension level. But the mistake that they are making here, all right, to put it bluntly to you, is that they are fighting the price. So instead of waiting for a clear car sell signal at a Fibonacci extension level, they are just selling. Some of those traders are not human beings, those are computers also. Again, one of the reasons why we, we see a bit of weakness also at those of Fibonacci extension level is because of some traders that are taking profit. The bullish trader price goes up to a Fibonacci extension level, it's a profit target, they take some profit, price go to the next Fibonacci extension level, they take a bit of profit, and so on. But also there are sellers. So talking about how to avoid Fibonacci extension trading mistake like a pro, one, once you draw your Fibonacci extension level, once you highlight those Fibonacci extension level, to avoid the Fibonacci extension trading mistake like a pro, one should concentrate on the price action. It's a very interesting scenario here, that's why I'm recording this video, because the price is rotating around a dynamic a trend line. Uh, if you put it like this, yes, that would make sense, you see. Call that trend line now into red. And I talk about it at a 2-4 stock trader, Digit 2, Digit 4, Stock Trader YouTube channel. And I was talking about uh, dynamic, okay, trend line day trading strategy. When a financial instrument is rotating or oscillating around a dynamic trend line. The line that I have on my chart here, the trend line here, is a dynamic a trend line. But those who are selling, okay, are just selling because of the Fibonacci key level. Instead of looking for a sell signal, a, a trade, a proper, all right? a valid, okay, a, a bearish trading setup in the vicinity of a Fibonacci, a key level. So the point I'm making here is that do not fall into that trap when a financial instrument hits a Fibonacci extension level. Do not just sell or just buy in a downtrend, all right? Look for a clear-cut trading setup that will generate the signal. So, if we do not have okay, a valid trading setup at a Fibonacci extension level, there won't be any signal at all. Even if we have a, a trading setup at a Fibonacci extension level, we must wait until we have a clear cut signal. And most importantly, in order to control the risk, we will select a low risk entry point. And if there is no low risk entry point, we will not even bother to enter the trade, which means we have the trading setup. We have the signal, but 
looking at the risk that we are about to take, we don't want to take, all right, a useless trade where the risk reward ratio is not beneficial to us. All right. So those are the few things we need to consider when we are using the Fibonacci extension level. So to put it bluntly to you now, there's one scenario here that is happening here. We are now at one uh, at three one four percent Fibonacci extension level. All right. So how do you handle that? Okay, that's a very good question. So I'm going to color that line now into red. And you may say, Joe, you talk about the mistakes. Now how do we play it? If I reach a Fibonacci extension level, we can look for candlestick pattern all right in the downtrend we look for bullish candlestick pattern when the price reaches a fibonacci retracement a fibonacci extension correction fibonacci extension level in an uptrend we look for bearish candlestick pattern bearish chart pattern bearish training setup all right look carefully here this candlestick bar is now closed it got a shadow what is it telling us it means that there were all this place here to sell that's why he's telling us that's all we know it's also retesting the dynamic uh, trend line on the edge so normally the price should if it did below it it must try to go up it must rotate around now it's stuck below that uh, trend line you can see in this session here it was above it now it's stuck below it all right though it's going up all right it's, go it's still going up so we will use in this case particular case all right we'll use this candlestick bar as our trading setup there is a candlestick bar on a monthly chart with a shadow on it indicating to us in a resistance zone because it's happening in a resistance zone indicating to us there are a bit of selling in this zone now we will not just sell because of that all right we go to the daily chart and we wait until there is a signal so far there is no signal uh, the signal may be a lower high on the daily chart and the common central is kaput or price break below, as you see here, break below, and retest. We're looking for bearish chart pattern, break below, retest, turn around, and then we sell. If there is a signal, we will sell. But now, there is no signal. We'll pay attention to this trend line now here. If break below it, we'll go back out to retest it. Or will it, okay, break below, a normal horizontal key level. So it's now sitting, so to speak, on a daily chart at a key level. How do we sell at a horizontal key level? We want it to break below, retest. So here it would be nice for it right, to go back one more time to retest that uh, blue trend line. And then we'll monitor the candlestick bar on a daily chart. If we have a weakness in this zone, we'll use that as a trading signal. Or if you have a bearish chart pattern and the common set trend line here, if you rally up and the common set trend line is kaput, we use that as a signal on the daily chart. And if there is a signal, then we go to the entry time frame, which is the hourly time frame, uh, to enter the trend. All right, carefully, carefully. Again, we look for break below retest or bearish chart pattern if you want to sell on the entry time frame. All right, so you see now, so do not okay fall into that trap when you become a bit aggressive Fibonacci trader. And most importantly, one of the mistakes that the Fibonacci traders are making are these Fibonacci computers because a lot of uh, trading algorithms love the Fibonacci key levels are making is because they are just selling at the Fibonacci key level. But what is happening here, the small money is not selling. We will see whether they will sell now because they were buying when ordinary traders were busy selling at each Fibonacci key level and they are just pushing them out each time. All right. But the 314% level is a better resistance level. We will now monitor the reaction of the price here and then use a the top down trading method to trade it. To avoid okay, Fibonacci extension trading mistake like a pool, one must first find okay, a valid trading setup at a Fibonacci extension level. When there is a, a valid trading setup, one will now implement a top-down trading method. Very, very important. When a price is at a Fibonacci extension level, traders should always concentrate on the price action instead of uh, relying only on the Fibonacci extension level. So, Look at it, all right? Watch the video, think of it, see what you were not doing before, and see what you can do now to improve your Fibonacci extension trading and avoid, most importantly, the Fibonacci extension trading mistakes. The Fibonacci extension level, a key level, 
where trader can set a profit target and take profit there. Other traders are using those key levels, okay, to look for trading setup, all right? But they are not magic one. They are just key level that we must monitor. For as you can see, price breaks above the one three eight point two percent level, went to the one six one point eight percent level, and then pulled back to retest the one three eight point two percent level. It's going up. It's going up from a higher low. This year it is pulled back from a double bottom chart pattern. Then it goes up again to two hundred percent level, pull back a bit to retest this high here. You see, so it pulled back two hundred percent. It pulled back to retest the top of this high. So for one month only it went down and people bought it again up. So you want to concentrate on the price structure, how the price is going up, and also pay attention to the market pattern. We are now in a rising channel. And most importantly, we have a dynamic a bullish trend line. How do we trade around a dynamic a trend line? Go to two four stock trader YouTube channel or YouTube search the video about uh, let me look for a title. A dynamic a trend line uh, trading. All right. Just look for dynamic, okay, uh, the title of that video at 2 for stock trader is Mastering Dynamic Trend Line Trading Like a Pro. So you may understand how to replay it, all right? It's a deviation, return to the mean, deviation, return to the mean, deviation, return to the mean. And if you go to the other side, we use the measuring stick to the other side, and we play it one more time, ups and down, okay? If you have any question or suggestion, uh, this is the time to put in the comment section. In due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If you find this video truly, truly useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that this is another blah, 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 all right, let us know by giving us the thumbs down. But if you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share it on Google+, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders talking about okay, how to avoid Fibonacci extension uh, trading mistakes like a pro. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.